Welcome to the Rustic Garden Homestead. Today's quick video is all about how do you stop your broccoli and your cauliflower crowns from bolting. That's the process by which they look like this. The nice tight crown of broccoli begins to expand, flower, and produce seed. And that's called bolting. And the main reason this happens is not because of the ambient temperature, the outside temperature, it's about soil temperature. When the soil temperature gets over 75 degrees Fahrenheit for a prolonged period, sends the signal to a lot of your brassicas, but in this case, your cauliflower, your broccoli, to begin to form flowers and produce seed pods. You can prevent this by doing a couple of things, and we're gonna cover them real quick. Mulching, watering more frequently, and using a shade cloth. That's gonna keep the soil cooler, that's going to keep your broccoli plants, your cauliflower plants from bolting. Beautiful bees. One of the benefits of the flowers is they really attract honeybees. When we're talking about soil temperature, we're really talking about that top two, four, six, eight inches. When the sun is pounding down, full sunny day, hitting soil that's not protected, it can heat up easily to 80, 90, 100 degrees and pretty soon your broccoli is going to look like this. Now, this is second year broccoli, it overwintered, so it flowered a little bit sooner, but this is the same exact process that happens to your spring, your spring planted broccoli and cauliflower. These are the plants that I'm growing for this year. They look great, nice and green. Soil is moist, we just had a rain. But in one day, and we begin getting temperatures that are going up into the 80s, this soil can dry, it begins to crack. That's when you know that the root system is getting heated past that 75 degrees Fahrenheit. You want to cool it down. Watering during the day, watering later afternoon will cool the soil down greatly, especially on those days that are, you know, abnormally hot. It's going to reduce the soil temperature. But the best thing that we can do is just go in there, put down about two inches of mulch, that will keep the soil a lot cooler and that will give the plants time to grow and form their crowns. Leaves make great mulch. These are nice and dry, they're brown. So I could easily put down two inches. That's good to keep the soil cooler. I also like using grass. When you cut fresh grass, and if you put down two or three inches, sometimes it'll heat up, it'll smell. So I'd like to take some of my grass, put it on a tarp, I've got compost under there, let it dry a little bit, and this is what I'm gonna use for my mulch. I'm gonna put down a nice, thick layer you know, I'll fluff it up and I'll probably put down about this much. That's gonna greatly reduce how warm the soil temperature gets. You can't beat mulching for several reasons. One, for the reason that we're describing today. Two, any plants with mulching helps conserve water. I mean, look how beautiful these plants are, by the way. They're growing really well. The warm temperatures are helping these grow, the ambient surrounding temperature. It's the soil temperature we wanna protect the plants from, from it getting, you know, above 75 degrees. So we have the beautiful mulch, helps retain moisture, helps keep weeds from coming up. Worms love it. This will break down. It'll feed the soil. Nice and loose. And we're going to just come in here and put down a good amount. If this was, you know, green grass, freshly cut, it could be a little problematic. But we're going to put in that's only about an inch. We're going to put about two inches down all through here. And then we're going to talk about shade cloth. Again, I just want to stress the benefit of mulching for other reasons. You can see all the weeds that are starting to pop up just by mulching and using grass. That's going to kill them off. Those are mostly annual weeds. They're going to die off. And I get the benefit of keeping the broccoli roots cooler. The crowns aren't forming on this variety yet. But right over here, you can see a crown forming. This is a purple broccoli. If the soil temperature stays elevated past that 75 degrees for many days, that's going to stop forming. It's going to loosen up. It's going to flower. It's going to bolt. So you want, you know, the big crown to form. You do that by controlling the soil temperature. I didn't mention it, but the soil was already wet from rain. I would soak everything down and then put your mulch on. I like using mulch that's a little bit lighter. When this grass dries, you know, it's gonna be a light brown. Does keep some of the warmth away. If you use like darker wood chips, shredded hardwood, it does add a little bit of heat. But no matter what you do, adding wood chips is not going to be bad. 
I just like using the grass. It's a little bit lighter, helps a little bit with the soil regulation temperature better. Now it's only April 17th, so the really hot days are yet to come. I don't need to put my shade cloth up. I'll put it up just so you can see it. But I have the broccoli planted in a place where I have a cattle panel trellis right through here. The shade cloth goes right on here. The southern sun comes in this way and then the sun goes this way to set in the west. That's when the intense heat is coming through. That's when the pounding sun hitting bare soil can heat that soil temperature up way too high and that's why you end up getting broccoli and cauliflower that bolt, as I've said several times, but I just want to get the message through. So, adding in the shade cloth, I'm using a 70% shade cloth. If you're not sure what to get, just get 50-50. That means 50% of the sun is reduced. With the 70%, here in Maryland, it gets warm. I use it predominantly for tomato plants. Subscribe and follow me. I'll talk to you about why I use it for tomatoes and peppers in July, early August. Now, these guys are gonna do great. Keep up the watering once everything is in place. Water a little more often than you think. That will keep the soil cooler and you're gonna get beautiful you know, production from your broccoli plants and your cauliflower plants. And that is a basic shade cloth. You can get them in all kinds of dimensions. I will attach a few to the video if you want to check them out. You can also go to my Amazon shop and find some of these uh, shade cloths there. Three things, water more frequently, mulch, use of shade cloth, that's going to keep the soil temperature cooler. That's going to allow your broccoli and cauliflower to reach maturity the way that you want it. Thanks so much for watching. And again, please subscribe. I'm trying to reach 750,000 subscribers so every person counts. I really appreciate that. And please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com and try shade cloth mulching as a way to really prevent your brassicas from bolting. Thanks so much for watching.